Dave Thomas was a founding member of SCTV, the classic television comedy series. Now he is branching out into reality TV, which is, of course, the current rage, and bringing his sense of humor along for the ride. Give us a break, all right? It's Christmas. Go and see your family. Family? I have no family. Thanks for reminding me. In Public Enemy No. 2, Dave Thomas takes aim at America's fascination with reality-based crime programs. The show is actually a satire in which Thomas plays two roles. He's a down-and-out actor who gets cast as a serial killer in a dramatic reenactment segment, and he stars as the real killer who comes out of hiding, secretly switching himself into the identity of the actor. You're welcome. Who said that? It's me. And I'm here with a review of your first performance. It sucked! <laughs> I get to play both guys, both Dwayne Gary Steckler, an insane psychotic, and uh, Wynn Dalton, kind of a happy-go-lucky nerd, loser actor, <laughs> you know. Both par are parts of me, I guess. Welcome to All Points Bulletin, the show. Topping off the spoof, veteran crime drama star Mike Connors appears as host of the show. Thomas says it's the kind of comedy that appeals to everyone who takes a guilty pleasure out of watching too much tabloid TV. I think everybody's a fan of these type of shows. It's like slowing down to look at an automobile accident, you know. I mean, it, they're, they appeal to the cheesiest and lowest side of mankind. It also gives Thomas free reign to get into the kind of wild humor with which he made a name for himself on his first cable venture, SCTV. There's one scene where I knock myself out with a pistol, and I get to, like, uh, ooh, you okay, Wim? <laughs> and I got to, like, really, like, go berserko, uh, and... It was fun. My luck. Ted Bundy got Mark Herman. The Onion Field Killer got James Wood. Who do I get? The King of Dinner Theater! Public Enemy Number 2 premieres Sunday on Showtime and can be seen at various times during the rest of the month. There's another Dave Thomas on television all the time, and even though his name isn't familiar, Dave doesn't beef about it. He's built one of the most successful restaurant chains around, and now he's cooking up the story on how he did it. Wendy's Old Fashioned Hamburgers. Come on in. Hi. Howdy, dude. Huh? Dave Thomas, the founder of and spokesman for Wendy's, moves from the kitchen to the typewriter with the publication of his autobiography, Dave's Way. In the book, Thomas shares his incredible life story from his humble beginnings to the billion-dollar business he built from scratch. The big thing is to really let people know that if they work hard and they, they have objectives and goals, you can almost do anything you want to do. Dave also offers tips for everything from starting your own business to making a good ad. And Thomas seems to know the right ingredients for successful advertising. Wendy's beefed up sales in 1984 with the memorable commercial. Where's the beef? And continues to come up with new ways to sell their old-fashioned hamburgers. Advertising has become a family affair with both Dave and his daughter Wendy working on the commercials. Dave, I told you they will come. It's Wendy. I just can't figure out how she's doing it. Her name's really Melinda, and her brother and her older sister, sisters, couldn't say Melinda, and they call her Wenda. There's not very many kids, well, I'm not a kid anymore, but can say, oh, I have 3,800 restaurants named after me. Hamburgers is something I always wanted to do. Thomas has turned his childhood dream into a reality. He's enjoying his success, but is quick to share with others. He writes extensively in his book about his life as an adoptee, and he'll donate book profits to the cause of adoption. To give back is something really important, and I love it. I mean, I just think it's really exciting. And this book is an avenue for me to do that. Dave tells us he has one unfulfilled dream. He'd like to be able to sing like Perry Como. He told us that? That's well, what he said. We save, <laughs> that, we save that stuff for the end of the, the piece. Because so people want to yeah, know. Yeah.